Hey, what is going on, everybody? JB here with another political video, and today we're going to be looking at a few Democrats, you know, quotes, and what they've said uh, f from their mouth, own mouths in video. What they've been saying about, um, we all we all know right now that they've been saying, oh, Trump incited violence with the Capitol Hill thing, which I, I don't think he did. Uh, but we're going to be looking at how they have incited violence and say, saying that riots are good and it's and that it's all okay, um, but only, you know, it's only if it's okay if it's Antifa or BLM radicals doing it. Um, but yeah, we're going to be looking at some of their quotes, some of the things they're saying. And if you watch my other video today, you got a little sneak peek of that. I'll be, uh, if you look at the little bubble, those should be a bubble throughout this video. Uh, and one of those things I will link is that video. Feel free to check it out. Also, I, uh, just so you all know, I will also be having a video later today about Donald Trump. Uh, I have a, a specifically about how I have a cardboard cutout of him in my house now uh, for the meme and I have to I have to show that off in a video so you'll be looking at that later but I don't I want to get right to the video so first things first I do out of the cringy YouTuber thing and say hey if you like my video please like share and subscribe comment below what I can do to be, do to be better yeah 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 um poor those bands so I can't link that anymore sorry everybody but yeah please 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 check me out uh by subscribing you can see a lot more of my content it'd be really great to grow um it's been a little bit slow right recently uh but yeah let's get into the let's get into the actual video sorry everybody but yeah right here right here we're gonna be looking at this video uh, and again i showed a little bit of off but i'm gonna be breaking each one down this time instead of just showing a few of them let's get into this so this is all known nancy pelosi i i, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country maybe there will be yes and there was and uh and it caused a lot of damage I don't know why the quality is so bad on this. I'm going to minimize it so it's not as bad. People need to start taking to the streets. This is a dictator. So I, I, I believe this one was in some, uh, basically here they're talking about oh, Trump must stop manufacturing person side shows. I believe that they're talking, this was a few months ago. Um, I don't know the exact incident that this was about, but I do know that this, why is Doritos trending in politics? I do not know. I will be looking into that after this, but yeah. Um, Again, it's just saying we need, it's just outrageous for them. You see these people saying this. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. Mm, looks like an egg. But, um, yeah. Uh, there needs to be unrest in the streets. That's totally not saying that. Should, for instance, like, Trump got taken down for saying you should go protest outside. Not going inside the Capitol. Outside of Capitol Hill. Never told them to go inside. Never told them to go inside at all. And he's banned on almost everything on so many different social medias. They're not banned for literally telling people to have violence in the streets, to to be, have unrest, civil unrest. Enemies of the state. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite. Protests are supposed to be polite. They're supposed to be peaceful. Pro they're supposed to be protests. Protest is peaceful. You don't have to be exactly polite, but you have to be police like peaceful. You, you you should be polite if you want to get your message across better. You don't be violent, destroying stuff. And peace. And this is talking about unrest after a night of widespread looting. Yeah, they're talking about this is looting. And he's saying they don't need to be polite. Looting is not a protest. Peaceful. Do something about your dad's immigration practice. Did, did he just say something peaceful. about uh, Polite this, this. protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Yeah, protests are supposed to be peaceful. I almost didn't catch that. Yes, they need to be peaceful. Do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless. Um, what's, what's wrong with his... <laughs> Yes, we don't want illegal immigrants here. We do not want illegal aliens in this country. We want to keep it so that more legal people can come in through the illegal process. I want them vetted. I want them in here. I want them safe. And if, if, if anyone comes to that's a different skin color or, or even the same skin color as me, but they don't speak my language, or, I, I will op welcome them with open arms saying, thank you for coming to this country. I really hope you do well here. I hope you have the best life possible because you came through the legal route. If you come here illegally, I want you to get the heck out of my country because you're causing a lot more in taxes. You... you it's just like the amount of taxes, because I live in California, the amount of taxes that are taken out of my family's paychecks and my friend's paycheck because of that, because of all the illegal immigrants we have to pay because we're a sanctuary state, is disgustingly high. We need to get this done. We need to get rid of these illegal immigrants. We don't want them here. We don't need them here. We want legal immigrants here. That's what we want. That's what that's what we need. There's nothing wrong with that. We go low, we kick. How do you resist the temptation to run up and wring her neck? The biggest terror threat in this country is white men most of them radicalized right up to the right so i disagree i disagree i don't think that's that's the most dangerous thing in the and if, you, if i don't comment one it says i don't know the full context and i don't want to misinterpret what's going on but that seemed pretty kind of right no white men or not I, i'm a white man uh cisgender heterosexual 
I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm sorry. Unless you attack me, I'm not gonna attack you back. I I I don't understand where they're coming from. That. I thought he should have punched him in the face. I said, even if you lost, he insulted your wife. Yeah. Let's talk about how uh, Joe Biden should have punched Trump in the face. Um, no, 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 no. You shouldn't punch people in the face. And he didn't. It's. I'm sure Trump probably did insult, insult someone's wife. But the thing is, I don't like that he does that. But a lot, but a lot of things have worse have been said about Trump because of that. Yes. Calling someone a racist is worse than insulting someone's wife. And Biden has called Trump racist and xenophobic. That is one of the worst things you can call someone. That is one of the most terrible things you can call someone. There's not much worse than that. There's not much worse than calling someone a racist that's not a racist. Or homophobic that's not homophobic. Or xenophobic who's not xenophobic. You, that, that's just disgusting. Biden and you are disgusting for saying that. So, yeah, I'm sorry. You, you, he can, Trump should be able to say anything about your wife after you call him a racist or xenophobic man. They don't call Mexicans rapists and murders. He's uh, he didn't. He did not. He called the uh, gang MS-13. It's burned to my brain because I know about this so much. The gang MS-13 was what he was calling the uh, rapistas. I, I don't know why I said it that way, but I, I have to say, say sort of, sort of way, the, the rapists, so that I don't get in trouble. Uh, but yeah. He said, well, what do you think I should have done? I said, I think you should have punched him in the face and then gotten out of the race. Well, you would have been a hero. I'd like to punch in the face. I think they may have been talking about the guy that has the Mexican wife that ran against Trump. I'm not exactly sure. I said if we were in high school, I'd take you behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Yeah, that's totally a good thing. A president, you want a president to say that. It's totally something. I want my president to say, I'll, I'll take him out back and beat him up. That's such a presidential thing to say. They try to say Trump, they say Trump needs to keep his mouth shut because he's not presidential. Sorry, Biden, you said you wanted to assault someone and you've also uh, physically assaulted some people that were asking you questions about gun control and you, you're just not a good person you're an angry little old man punch some people in the face violence is not the answer do not punch anyone in the face this video is not sponsored by anyone that punches them in the face when was the last time an actor assassinated a president that man should be have the fbi on his ass every day and he should be in jail they're still gonna have to go out and put a bullet in donald trump that's so such a good thing to say. That's something you want your news people to say. And it looks like, is that MS, MSNBC, I believe? I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, that's something you totally want to that's see. That's a fact. What is it first? Look as his character is stabbed to death. Where is John Wilkes Booth when you need him? Wow, that's great. Yeah, you totally should be having that out. Why she look? For, she's an actor. That, that, tell us something. This is totally. This you don't see Republicans or conservatives doing this about the things. I I dislike Biden immensely. I do, do not agree with him on almost any. I don't think I agree with him a single thing politically speaking. I don't believe I do. Maybe it was one or two things, but I I don't believe. I I can't think of one. I disagree with him that I think he's a, a rude and like terrible person. I don't think he's a good person. I think he's morally evil, in some aspects. Especially on, especially on his positions on abortion and things like that, and his large amount of lies about the sitting president, but and he's just rude. He's just rude. But I, I would never imagine doing this to a, a fake version of his head. I would never imagine that. I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. Totally not a threat. Totally not a threat by this actress, I believe. A Missouri state senator is under investigation by the Secret Service after saying she hopes President Trump is assassinated. As they should be. Is it? I will go and take Waters? Trump out tonight. I hate Maxine Waters. She's a terrible, spiteful Lord Broad. Let's listen to this right here. So this is one of the this is one of the first videos I saw that made me realize, wow, the Democrats really hate Trump and Republicans. If you see anybody from that cabinet. Yeah, she'll be the cabinet of the GOP. In a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. Totally not inciting violence. T Twitter, YouTube, please take Maxine Waters down. She's inciting violence nonstop. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. And sadly, the domestic enemies to our voting system and wow. our honoring our Constitution are, are right at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. They're not going to stop before Election Day in November, and they're not going to stop after Election Day. And that should be, everyone should take note of that on both levels, that this isn't, they're not going to let up, and they should not. They should not let up. Sorry about the, uh, the rioters, and sorry, the protesters. 
But you can just see how terrible this is. You, you, you just looking at this, this is the extreme amount of double standards. And I'm surprised I got this. I, I don't know how long I've been recording, but this is a longer video than I thought. This two minutes and twenty. So I I only watched a snippet of it because I, I knew I, I've seen videos like this before. I knew it would have a lot. I didn't know it would have this much in it. So. Yeah, I just want to point out this is all. This isn't even everything I've seen. There's a few things like AOC's recent one saying that two members of the uh, Congress, I believe, I don't quote me on that, should be should leave because they're not welcome. Sorry, woman, we don't. I, I, you're not welcome there. So should you just leave? I don't because I don't like you. No, so stop. Just stop, AOC. He was elected by his constituents, and so were you. Sadly, you were. You think we're rallying now? You ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah, so there's a lot more quotes and videos. That I just, I, I just, I just thought this was nice, concise. I didn't have to do a lot of planning, which oh, praise be God, praise be God. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'll be keeping it quick. My voice is going, and I want to record another video, not right now, but I'll be recording another one uh, in a day or so about uh, a, a police incident. And it's gonna be oh, the video. I hope the video is gonna turn out well because I'm I'm super excited to record it. Um, it's a breakdown. And I, I don't do much breakdowns anymore, and I'm gonna be really excited for it. Um, so keep right up for that in the next few days. Go, again, go check out my other video from earlier today. I'll have a link to somewhere. And check out my video later today about my little Trump uh, cardboard cutout. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Even if you're on the left or if you're on the right. Or if you're centrist, I love you. And I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day and a great new year. I, I'll see you all in the next video. Again, please consider subscribing and uh, hitting the notification bell to see more of my content. It would really, really help uh, the morale here. And helping the channel grow to be shown out to more people. I would love to be able to do this more often. Uh, and yeah. Again, thank you so much for watching. See you next video. Bye everybody. Peace, peace.